How many Webleys do you have? Lots. Now, most of them are military Webleys, the big tip downs. I've mm -hmm. got, you know, Mark I Good. to Mark VI. Good. Good. Oh, okay. And then the World War II cool. ones. Did you get Sam? Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Bonus video I want to do for everyone out there. Sam made the holsters for the Magnificent Seven movie, which is an awesome movie. Great movie. Yeah. Uh, I think you did a great job on the holsters. They really stood out. When you look at the movie, it really stand I mean, maybe it's just because I know you, but <laughs> <laughs> they really did stand out. I thought they showed very well. Yeah, absolutely. I think you should get an Oscar for best holster. I'm not sure there's a the category movie. for best holster. Yeah. Someone might needs have to, to suggest it to yeah, the camera. Someone needs to make this category. <laughs> I want to see you go up there and get your Oscar. <laughs> it was like really one of those long acceptance speeches. <laughs> yeah, you did a great job. So. Who exactly did you make holsters for in the movie? Pretty well all the main stars, good guys and bad guys, pretty well mm -hmm. anyone had a speaking part. I didn't do the 70 extras who were the criminal army in the end. Yeah. They just wore studio stuff. Right. Because they're getting shot off their horses in long yeah. range. Yeah. And that was, I mean, the holsters you made, how many holsters in total did oh, you make? Oh, a lot. I don't know an exact count, but when you're making things for Hollywood, you don't just do one. Yeah. You'll make one for the star, one for the stunt double, perhaps an extra just as a yeah. backup rig. So yeah. it multiplies. Yeah, absolutely. Um, how long, like, for, well, first of all, let me ask you, how did you get that job uh, doing that? There's a gentleman who you'll see in the credits of the movie. He's a Mr. Thel Reed. And Thel was world fast draw champ several times. And he's been working in movies as a gun coach for years and years. He's also been wearing my leather for a long time. Mm -hmm. So when he got the contract to do this movie, he asked me to send some sample things out to show to Mr. Fuqua, who's the director. Mm -hmm. he liked Excellent them, director. Said, Let's go with this guy and mm -hmm. got the opportunity. Right. Very cool. How long did it take you to do all these? They had me running breaks? around for about two months with my hair on fire. Yeah. <laughs> and they are wonderful people to work with, but they need everything right now. Deadline. Yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> and then there's all the last minute crises and changes. Yeah. Kept okay. it interesting. So I think it would be cool for the guys if we went over. We don't have the actual holsters here. I have obviously. not had time to make duplicates. That's yeah. In the planning stages. Right, and I think that you said that some of those holsters might be up for auction or something like that. I, I got a call from a gentleman who was looking at buying Denzel Washington's rig mm -hmm. on a movie property auction site. Okay, that's cool. That's interesting that it's yeah. out there. So how about we start with Denzel's rig? What did you make for him? What kind of rig is it? This is the pattern that I made for Denzel. Mm -hmm. He was wearing his holster backwards, reverse. doing what's called a twist or reverse draw. Okay. And I did argue with them about that because yeah. we both know that's unsafe. You're sweeping the muzzle right across your body. Mm -hmm. But they said it's in the script. He had to, do, he had to have a, a superhero move. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it, it's a <laughs> movie. Yeah, exactly. So it was a reverse rig, but is there a specific name for that rig and what you do? Or it was just, this is just something you just made up? I made it up for the oh. character. Oh, they okay. gave me the general parameters. and they. So they that's left, wanting an actual name. Yeah, they left me very free to design what I wanted. Oh, okay. But so, they did give me how it had to work. Oh, so all the holsters you made, these don't have specific names right now. They're just holsters that you made up? Well, some are specific styles right. because we were doing historically based holsters. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fuqua is a fiend about accuracy, historical okay. accuracy. Right. And so he didn't want everybody to bring the low on the leg bucket Hollywood holster, mm -hmm. which we saw in all the 50s and 60s. Oh, holsters. I see. Okay. So you made, you wanted them to be period correct. They were period So some correct. of them did have specific styles, but the Denzel one didn't. No, that, okay. that was... So that's a Denzel then. That was totally a Denzel. Yeah. Holster. From now on, anyone who wants that... Yeah. It's a Denzel. It was in a Western style. Yeah. Now, what if someone wants that Denzel holster? They mm -hmm. want you to make it, would you? I have a pattern. One okay. I've made once, I can make again. Yeah. So if you want a, if you want a Denzel holster, <laughs> get in touch with Sam. So, okay, so after Denzel, because we're looking at this thing behind us, so let's go... Let's go, before we go to Chris Pratt, let's go to Ethan Hawke. Did you do a special oh, yes. holster for him? Ethan so, Hawke is wearing that's this cross one? draw because okay. he's a rifle expert and it's easier to handle your rifle when the pistol's not hitting. Oh, I stop. see. Right, right, right. Okay. So he was wearing a Schofield, the Smith & Wesson tip-down revolver. Mm -hmm. 
and we did his with an alligator skin holster band around the middle mm -hmm. and alligator teeth on it oh, because okay. he was playing a Cajun Louisiana. Right. Hence the Cajun connection. Yeah, right. And he was supposed to be a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy. A little he bit did crazy. that very well. Yes, he did do a good <laughs> job of doing crazy, yeah. which Ethan Hawke does. I don't know. He was born to do crazy. <laughs> So so was so his was a uh, cross draw. His was a cross draw. Okay. One butt forward, but you reach across for that draw. Right. Okay. Very cool. All right. And so let's see. After him, if we come back over to Chris Pratt, what kind of what kind of holster did Chris Pratt? Uh, Chris Pratt wore a two gun rig. These are the okay. patterns for Chris Pratt's holsters. Okay. He had a strong side and a cross draw. Okay. So one while you're seated, one while you're standing. Easy to reach. Okay. So those were the same holster. The different angle of carry. Oh, okay. And he wanted very plain, unadorned, workmanlike, no frills. He, okay. His character was perpetually you know, down on his luck. He was yeah. a gambler. He was Hustler. he yeah. was flush. He was busted yeah. all the time. So yeah. his gear looked like he'd been living in it for a long time. Yeah. Now I know this is a cool little um, thing about the movie. You you um ah here we go so. I this loaned, is your Webley. I loaned the production company three Webley pocket revolvers right. for my collection because in the famous card trick scene, Chris needs to pull a little concealed backup gun mm -hmm. to get out of trouble right. when he distracts them with the card. Right. You didn't let me finish. Your card was the king of hearts, right? <laughs> Is this your card? Now you see, that was worth it, wasn't it? That was kind of good. Pretty good. That was pretty good. <laughs> And they didn't want to just use another Remington double barrel Derringer because that's been in every Western movie since the dawn of time. Mm -hmm. The Little Webleys were popular in the Old West as mm -hmm. hideout guns. So okay. it gave it a little something unique. Yeah. And it was yours that they used it. Right, now. I loaned okay. them the weapons. Loaned it to them. And this period. is it right this here. This is the very so, gun that you see yeah. in the picture yeah. of Chris. It's an official movie gun. We have to get that into the internet, the right. firearms internet movie database, mm -hmm. Webley, as belonging to St. Andrews. Now, this cartridge that it's mm -hmm. chambered for, the little 45 short, mm -hmm. hasn't been manufactured in probably 90 years. Mm -hmm. But Thel Reed said it worked every time with a 44 Russian blank. So with a blank. Okay, so, it worked. so it's a working gun. Absolutely. Worked on the movie, actually shot. Belongs to Sam. Yep. We got to get that all framed up and everything. With oh, yes. I think, uh, you know, everyone knows this about Chris Pratt. He's a really nice guy, and you said very, that he sent nice you guy. some stuff. Well, he sent me a very nice thank you note mm -hmm. for all the work, mm -hmm. and he sent my young son a box of toys and t-shirts and right. nice letter and signed picture yeah. because I had mentioned to him that he, he was a fan. Yeah. So, uh, very, uh, very, very, good very, very classy. Yeah. Um, I, I never hear anything bad about Chris Pratt. No. Very hardworking, you know, appreciates everything, and that's why he's getting all the movie roles right now. There you go. Which is cool. Okay, so who else's holsters are uh, on here that we didn't cover? This is the holster pattern for the Vasquez holsters. Okay, now that was, okay, Vasquez had the really pretty holsters, he right? Yeah. beautiful <laughs> two-gun rig with all the silver yeah. on it, the tooling. I really okay. labored over that. So one. now, so does that have a particular name or that's something else you designed? Well, the, the type of holster is called a Mexican loop, okay. where, where the holster weaves back through its own skirt. There's slots uh, and the holster okay. It goes through those to create a belt loop. Yeah, and then the, and then you have like the little um, shields or well, the, the little medallions the, the on it. The ponchos and yeah. the spots and everything yeah. went on top of that. Yeah. But any holster where it weaves through its own backing is known as a, a Mexican loop. Okay. And then there was another silver mounted rig for the Indian character. Okay. And this one was based on the one that Geronimo was wearing when he surrendered to General Crook. Oh, okay. The only difference is there were two bands on Geronimo's holster. They mm -hmm. said, just do this with one. Okay. These were the two silver-covered rigs. Yeah, those were really beautiful rigs. Now, you did the leather work, I'm sure. Did you do... Did You You didn't make the all no, the silver I, I work. I purchased the silver. It was oh, you did. beautifully okay. handmade, hand-engraved silver conchos, mm -hmm. bars and buckles. Okay, so you bought that stuff and then you installed it in the exactly. holster. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Silver work would be another discipline yeah. entirely. Yeah. If, I don't know if they're going to put those 
on sale anywhere or whatever, but those would be really nice. Obviously, Denzel's holster in the movie, since he was like the, you know, a big star in the movie, would be great, but those are really beautiful This holsters. one was the, the cast favorite. Everybody mm -hmm. loved the Vasquez. Really. Yeah, okay. So, if someone wanted one of those, would you be able, I know the silver's oh, going to be expensive. I'd be able to reproduce it, but they mm -hmm. better sit down when I tell them the cost, because <laughs> the they're, yeah. they're You're going to have to check the stock market there was to see what silver's going lot for. of silver between the yeah. buckles and the conchos and yeah. spots. Now, what if they want it, but they want gold? I don't know where to get gold. You don't know? Okay. Not right. in me, those pieces. Yeah. Let me not start anything here. <laughs> all right. Did we cover all the holsters? Yes, I well, think. There's, the, the, there's basic the, ones. the one here we did for uh, Byung Hong Lee. Oh, okay. Uh, he's the Korean he's, guy. He's in a lot he, of movies. He primarily used his knives. Right. So yeah. he was wearing his... Revolver. He had a really cool knife rig. Did you make that? Yes, made okay. the belt with all kinds of little attachment points for the knife mm -hmm. sheets. They had kind of spring clips on them that just held right. onto the belt. Okay, very cool. And then, I mean, there's other guys up there, obviously, that we didn't touch on. There's D'Onofrio. I think you said you made a rig for him, but what they his had character... Me, what they had me make for him was a, a mm -hmm. scabbard that went across his back to hold the long rifle mm -hmm. on a kind of a sling arrangement. But mm -hmm. when they tried filming with it, it was too ungainly in the way. So they put it aside, and his yeah. rig is just from Central Property. That that wasn't one of my Oh, okay. Rigs. Okay. Were there any other rigs like that, stuff that you made, but it didn't... Well, uh... Chris is wearing a shoulder holster that I made. Okay. Although in the movie, he never drew the gun from it. Oh, okay. And then I think he has like a mare's leg type of gun in that movie as well, right? Well, or he, did... he picked it up off one of the downed bad guys. Oh, okay who's wearing this this long holster that I did for that, mm -hmm. but I'm not even sure you got that much. You didn't holster. see it, yeah. But I do have one of those rigs. You do indeed It's have a Hank Strange those. rig, not a movie rig, not yet. Okay. Unless we make some kind of movie with it, but, but you did make that rig that's in oh, there yes. briefly. Yes. Okay, very cool. Do you, uh, do you have any other prospects of doing, first of all, is this the first uh, movie that you've made holsters for? Oh, we've done smaller pieces for okay. like um, Sasha Cohen's Dictator. Okay. And the latest installment, I think it's number eight of Fast and Furious, who did a spinal stingray shoulder holster for one of the female characters. Oh, cool. Okay, so the new um, number, Fast, number Fast 8, eight that's coming up? Oh, nice. Okay. I hope it gets good screen time. Oh, yeah. So, okay, that's a cool. That's another thing. I was at SEMA recently and I saw some of the cars. So you've done, you did one of the holsters, very good. So you're in the market if people want you to do holsters for oh, their movies, absolutely. right? absolutely. Okay, very cool. Thanks, Sam. Thanks for Pleasure sharing that. As always. Yeah, I'll roll in some of the pictures of this stuff. We don't obviously have the actual holsters here. It would take Sam so much time to get them made, but we might come back and do that. Indeed. Yeah, maybe we'll go one by one and we'll go through the holsters or we'll do something, share it with you. Make the crowd figure. Yeah, yeah, you know, or if you've got other ideas of what we should do, feel free <laughs> to, you know, let us know, comment on there and all that other stuff that we are, I always tell you to do, like, share the videos and everything. It's, you know, I, I'll tell you something that I went to see The Magnificent Seven uh, with Sam right. in the movie theater and then Sam was all dressed up, all fancy, and he came over to Lola and I and then everyone was like, who's that guy that came over? And I was like, this, this is my buddy. He made all these holsters that we're looking at in this movie. And I was like, you know, I was a little movie theater famous for... For just a brief time. Yeah, for the rest of the movie. Right. So that was really cool, man. I'm, you know, proud of you. Thank you very Good much. Good work that you do. All right? All right, guys. Thanks for watching.